Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Monday the 29th of May. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay let's have a look at what happened in the final session of last week. Uh, there was only really news from the US and it was the core durable goods and that came in at negative 0.4 percent. Uh, as the Basically, the US dollar continues with uncertainty in its direction. It seems to have hit a bit of a bottom against the euro-based uh, currencies, but still losing ground to the yen and the commodity currencies. So the answer is, what's next? Well, it's actually the Fed Reserve Minutes, which have cast a bit of doubt on the central bank's hawkishness. And the problem was the US data, along with those minutes, which basically failed to uh, bolster the markets confidence for a June rate hike. Now the Fed fund futures still have a hundred percent chance uh, priced in that they will increase in June. That remains to, to, remains to be seen to see if that drops down a little bit because uh, the current news has not been so positive and the Fed Reserve's message is starting to sort of change a little bit. So keep your eye out on that. That's pretty much all that happened on Friday, let's have a look at our chart of the day for this uh, start of this new week. Now the one that I have for today, the best looking chart that I found for us is the GBP AUD daily. Now you can clearly see that I've marked at a level where the market has previously acted as resistance and now it's pulling back into that level which could possibly now act as support. Uh, the current candle is just started so we knew do need to wait to see what that candle ends up looking like. So if we do get an inside candle there, we could have an opportunity if anybody likes to just trade off the levels, well then it's definitely a lot more aggressive. But uh, if we apply our price action principles, we would wait for the current candle, which I'm pointing out right now to complete. If we get the inside candle, then the trade will be set, pending orders in place and away we go. There you have it, that is our chart of the day. It's the GBP AUD on a daily time scale. Okay, let's have a look at what's happening in the session that's about to unfold. Mondays are usually very quiet and today is no different. All we have today is at 11 o'clock tonight from Europe. We have the ECB President, Mr. Draghi, who will be speaking. As always, guys, please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions. Follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, hope you'll have a fantastic trading day. For those of you that come to the full analysis class and strategy, I will see you this afternoon at 3.30. Otherwise, have a great trading day. I'll speak to you tomorrow for the daily call. Bye for now.